Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm a woman of my world and I'm here with some threats. Okay, this is by my little cousin. Remember, they changed the name to Rico. And I am finna start my law page, okay? So stay tuned. I'm gonna tell you what a Rico is. It's just really basically disturbing and organized crime, okay? So if an organization like the Black Light, like the KKK, right to premises, that's an organization. If they kill somebody, you're not supposed to go and try to do nothing because you're going to get hit with a Rico. Like my cousin did. He dressed up as Spider-Man. I mean, he did create the costume. But he dressed up as Spider-Man and he was like, because girls were going missing in his school, right? And he got scared and freaked out. So he decided to rescue the girls or whatever. But in a costume, okay? I know, he was young at the time, okay? And, like, they said he disturbed they, 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 they organization. So they hit him with a Rico, okay? And not about the real drugs. I mean, bodies are drugs to them. But y'all think drugs is like that white stuff, weed, and all that. So this is titled, Meadows Bid to Move Rico Case to Federal Court Met with Skepticism by judges okay <clears throat> um they, they did put some porn of my auntie and them on porn okay i'm not gonna watch it though people said they gonna my, my my people said they gonna take it off okay and they did my grandma okay let's begin a recent 11th circuit u.s court of appeals ruling involving a georgia man who claims to be in here to the Moroccan kingdom may not body well for Mark Meadows' attempt to move the election interference charges against him in Georgia from state courts to federal court. The case, yeah, the judges could be my judges, okay? Including me. The case of the aspiring here, this is a cow, decided in October, raised the question, who? of whether a statute applying to federal officials also extends to former federal officials. In Meadows' case, whether he can still invoke the federal official removal statute when he is no longer a federal officer. The 234-year statute, so four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, okay, end of a cycle, statute allows See, like, so, you, like I said, if you try to save people, you're going to get hit with a Rico. they going to kill you, okay? This is not here. This is not back in the day, okay? This is now, and you ain't got nobody doing that. But in our minds, that was the right thing to do, okay? Even though he dressed up in a costume, but he was young, so who give a fuck? I think it's cool. Okay? Statue allows federal officials charged with state crimes to transfer them to federal courts when they are related to their official duties. A three-judge panel of federal appeals court judges heard all arguments over the jurisdiction of Meadows' case on Friday. Now, Meadows is one of his baby mothers, okay? Um, yes, we had to, like, you know, he had a he have to uh, hey, they a hey, they probably why they they say in his contract or whatever he didn't sign it though but you know they sign it um like he have to like make babies okay so you know that's all of my dad see um he like he said um i think it was i ain't mad uh it was so many tears he was like uh Plant a seed, um, look at it like here, y'all. I mean, it been coming to me lately. That's what they said to him. So he got a lot of baby mamas, a lot of kids. I know he said, don't touch my lady. Okay. I hear Oh. Right here, he like, I've been really wanting babies so I could see a part of me that wasn't always shady. Don't touch, don't touch my lady. I thought I said, don't touch my lady. Because she's a product of this poison. 
My bad, I'm here in Northwest. Then she fucking on my boys can't take no more. They not though. But yeah, that part right there. Okay, anyways. Meadows, who was White House Chief of Staff under former President Donald Trump, was charged in Fulton County, Georgia, along with Trump and 17 others, with conspiring to overturn Trump's 2020 election laws. Four of those charged have already agreed to cooperate, including two lawyers involved with the effort, Sidney Powell and Kenneth, and Kenneth Shesbro, and a bail bondsman named Scott Hall, who entered guilty pleas. Okay. Okay, could be his baby mama right there, and um, a man, or could be our lawyer, could be me right there. Trump, Meadows, and others have denied wrongdoings. You fool. Meadows contends that his case should be moved to federal court because he was a federal official when the alleged criminal conduct occurred and he was acting within the scope of his duties as a federal officer at the time. I don't care, really. I don't care, Jordan. Y'all have no right. This is not. This is not right. This is not legal. Okay, this is illegal. No matter if you did get the word illegal, this is still le illegal to us. Okay, legal to y'all, but illegal to us. Okay, trust me, cause that's our people. He was our people. Okay, you came in our territory. So no, no, no. The three-judge panel appointed by President George W. Bush, which is me, Barack Obama, my Michael, and Joe Biden, which is me, asked pressing questions of both sides during the 40 minutes of arguments. Yes, he, Michael's still going to court, and Young Thug, okay? They expressed, they expressed skepticism about the arguments put forth by Meadows' attorney including his assertion that the charges against Meadows could be dismissed under the Federal Immunity Defense. According to Meadows, okay, they might be funny, it seems like everything was within his official duties, okay? Okay, yeah, for y'all, y'all see it, but I, to be honest now, I don't care what y'all say. See, that's a gang right there. And that just cannot be right, says Judge Robin Rosabon during the proceeding, which is me. The appeal for Meadows comes after U.S. District Judge Stephen C. Jones denied his request to move the case to federal court, sliding with prosecutors who continued the evidence established that the actions at the heart of the state's charges was taken on behalf of the Trump campaign with the goal of affecting state election activities and procedures. Yeah, me, Michael, and everybody else, we have to write. Now, Trump is my baby, dad, my baby daddy, which is um, Grimey, 30D Grimey, okay? His mama and daddy is Rebby and Paris, okay? So they trying to be funny on that because remember when Rebby and Paris vote me out of the electric share? Okay. Donald Wakeful, a prosecutor, they still, they is helping me with this, in the office of Fulton County District Attorney, Fannie Willis, also argued during the appeals proceeding that Meadows should not be able to move his case to federal court because he is no longer a federal officer. Judge William H. Pryor noted, it might well be that Congress could rationally assume there's a heightened reason for removal where you are dealing with a current officer because it involves an ongoing operations of the federal government. And that heightened concern might not exist where you have a former officer because it doesn't involve the ongoing operations of the government, you see. But the judges also express concerns about the potential for a shilling effect that's keeping the case in state courts could have. Doesn't that create a shilling effect in some way on people who might consider running for office? For people who are in office and maybe they think twice about what they're going to do because they are concerned about being indicted later 
and not being able to have a trial in a federal forum, said Judge Rosabon. All three judges on the panel was in the majority of the decision in October, which vacated the conviction of Timothy Patty, a man who described himself as the heir to the kingdom of Marco. Pace had filed millions of dollars in lending against the properties of former and current IRS officials who he thought had wronged him, okay? He wasn't got in the IRS, okay? He owed him some money. He was convicted of filing false, really, okay? Retaliatory limits against federal officials. But he challenged the conviction by arguing that because two of the IRS officers was no longer federal employees when he filed the limits, he have not committed a federal crime. See, you're talking about me and Michael because we got him, okay? And we're not part of a crew type shit, what he's saying. The 11th Circuit threw out Pate's convictions. Just three days after issuing that ruling, the court ordered Meadows in the Fulton County District Attorney's Office to file supplemental briefs on whether the court's analyst in Pate permits a formal federal officer to remove a criminal prosecution from state to federal court. In essence, the precedent, uh, see, I guess he was an uh, official of uh, a village or whatever, the state, okay? That is like a state, though. I mean, not like that, but kind of. I mean, they call it Georgia. They call it Atlanta, okay? From state to federal court. In essence, the precedent of hate puts into question one of the key conditions for removal, which is whether Meadows can still be considered a federal official for the purposes of the statute. Wakeful, see, Ray Village, emphasizes that the removal statute is meant to protect federal authority, yet ultimately this is a case where, once again, there is no federal authority to protect. Yeah, because y'all not a part of federal authority, okay? Y'all got everything illegal, like, anyways. Y'all, y'all got it the wrong way, okay? I, I don't care. No ruling has been issued on the appeal. Because, you know, they made a deal with the devil. I mean, that's why. Four other defendants, but it's still not real. It's still not legal. Four other defendants in the Fulton County racketeering case, see, Rico, are also seeking to have their cases moved to federal courts and have appeals pending in the 11th Circuit. Okay, so that was y'all need to know, and I already told y'all that, okay? Anyway, so yes, Law Page coming soon. I'm thinking of a name. They tell me a name, but I'm like, eh. Judge Brown 33. I don't know what y'all think. Leave a comment.